this video isn't going to be the most interesting video for everyone but hopefully it's useful to some people. I'll admit I'm not going to cover absolutely everything in great detail because there's an awful lot that I can cover and it's quite a big project. So I thought I'd make a video explaining my Guitar Duino Arduino project in a bit more detail. Essentially what it is, is a guitar with a few gizmos on it which are all attached to an Arduino which basically sorts out inputs from these devices and then sends them through the serial port or the USB slot on a computer into a piece of software. In this case I use Maximum SP because I created my effects in Maximum. So I would start by saying that although a lot of this can look quite complicated to someone who's new to it, it's not. I have had some coding experience in the past which may have helped with my understanding behind the Arduino side which does require some code. However, I'd say if you can use Google, you spent a bit of time in the software getting used to how it works and you've got a good idea, you're pretty set. So the reason I recommend Max MSP is because with Max for Live you can actually put it into Ableton and this allows you to make a plugin or an effect and use it in Ableton Live pretty easily. I've got together some new examples of what the effects actually achieve, so...
This is an incredibly detailed and professional version of my Arduino setup that I created in Photoshop for you. I really hope you can work out what's going on here, but honestly with Arduino you can set things up in many different ways. So this is my Max patch and this shows you what's going on behind the scenes. This is what you don't see in presentation mode. Basically it's a 16 step sequencer here and all it does is it runs through as a loop. So at the bottom you see the sliders, those are the controls that you have for the interface. These put out a 1 to 3 and these fill the boxes above which then in turn fill the transposition ratio box with a number. This then controls the gizmo, which controls the pitch of your output. The Metro puts out bangs in time with the tempo on Ableton. So you can have a live project in a tempo, up the tempo halfway through the song, and this will still work to that tempo. It basically means that it will always work with Ableton really well. So this is my feedback area, and it's quite basic. It's tap in, tap out setup. I've split it into left and right, so that I can get more control from it with the X and Y coordinates. Basically it makes it more versatile. The X and Y controls how much delay you get on each side so there's a weird panning effect going on in there and also I've got a pitch control in there again which means that when I go to the top of X and Y it kind of screams. You've also got an unpack and some scales here and basically what that is is for sorting out what comes out of the touchscreen because the Arduino gives you a load of random numbers, you have to kind of sort out what's going on there. So the unpack sorts it into sections that I could deal with, and the scale is sorting out the low point and the high point and turning it into something more useful for my Max Patch. These are great features to use to control your inputs. I've also got a reset button for the whole of the feedback area, which means that I can start from scratch, and this will also turn the effect off when I've pressed it after using it. This is linked to a select minus 6080 because I've coded minus 6080 to be the number that the yellow button will output into the serial connection. So every time that comes through the serial connection in my patch, it will go to that number and reset that project. Additionally, because feedback can be notoriously untamable, I've got a peak limiter at the end of this run, just to make sure that nothing goes too mad. And then we have one final effect, which is the tremolo. Which is the most basic of all basic effects. It's essentially just a cycle which creates a sine wave and then that affects the output. And I've got a phaser in before that so that every time it changes between cycles it doesn't have a different gain difference. And there's also a plug sync which allows the tremolo to work in time with the tempo in Ableton. Which is quite useful. Additionally we've got a select minus 5080 going into the reset again which is linked to the green button which means that when I press that coming from the Arduino it will go into the reset and set it back to zero so it's working as normal. The main control with this tremolo effect is the touch strip on the guitar so that links up kind of like the slider that's shown on the interface and it's linked up with the scale system again. The reason that I've made the buttons output minus 6080 to reset and such is because when you've got so many things coming through one serial port, the most important thing is to make sure that you've got number sections for them and that they don't butt in with each other's controls as it makes it so much easier to just split them into sections and easily control things from there. I'm going to put my uh, Arduino code up on the screen for you to look at in case it's useful. It's probably not the best or most efficient piece of code written. To be honest with you, in terms of coding, I'd recommend just having a look online, breaking things down. Um, if you take tutorials one thing at a time and understand how it works, do it bit by bit, have a play, try things out, change things, and then you'll soon get to understand what's going on and how it's useful to you, and then you can mould it to what you want.
Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are things I haven't really covered in much detail here, but it's a very large project, so I apologise. I'd also like to thank you for getting this far into the video if you have. I don't think I would have, and I made it, 